Hello, I'm Toby. We're coming to you from Venture Out Nursery on Whidbey Island. Today we're going to talk about pruning and the difference between a heading cut and a thinning cut and why you would want to use one or the other. So we're in our laurel area because heading cuts are very useful when you are growing a hedge and you're looking to make the hedge grow more thickly. So for instance, you can see here a cut was made in this area on this branch that triggered these nodes to grow and made this branch more thick. So a heading cut, that's a little backwards, but a heading cut is when you take something from the tip and instead of going back to the branch origin, which would be cutting here, that would be a thinning cut, you just tip to a node somewhere along the length of the plant. So for instance, this is a heading cut, this would be a thinning cut, but this will cause these nodes to break and cause this area to thicken up, which is quite useful when you're growing a hedge because you're looking for thick growth on the exterior of the plant. As opposed to our witch hazel, which has a much more graceful structure but it does have some inward growing branches. So instead of making a heading cut up here, I want to make a thinning cut. So I'm gonna follow this branch back to its point of origin on the trunk and thin it out. I hope that helps you understand heading cuts versus thinning cuts. Thanks for watching, happy gardening.